What is up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about limiting beliefs and constraining beliefs into um, uh, the topic of helplessness. And there's a few experiments and case studies on this and uh, this sort of stuff on animals. And it is uh, very, very peculiar. Basically, uh, there's this one uh, case study and apparently it happens all the time. Um, they have a baby elephant and they strap them to uh, a pole with a rope and because the rope's so thick the, ele the el baby elephant when it's born just tries really really hard to rip out the rope he does everything he, c he could uh, to rip this rope and run away and he can't so he gives up eventually but the peculiar thing is that once the elephant gets a lot older and a lot lot bigger to the point where he can easily just rip off the rope if he tried um, he does not because um, he still believes that this tiny little rope can hold him to the pole uh, based off his learned helplessness and apparently there's other uh, studies on this and um, I encourage any of you guys to uh, go on to Google Scholar and search this up yourself and post in the comments any uh, articles or studies that uh, support this or do not support this and disprove this. Um, but apparently Martin Seligman who has authored a lot of books on psychology and uh, such uh, instances also did an experiment on this with dogs where he basically uh, caged dogs and shocked them and they struggled initially and again eventually they gave up when they realized that they could not get out but afterwards he placed these dogs into escapable cages but because of their belief now that they could not escape they didn't bother to try and they couldn't escape and uh, he contrasted that with dogs who had had first been taught uh, that they were caged and helpless and there's nothing they could do and lo and behold when they were shocked they just tried and they escaped from the escapable cage so that's roughly how it goes and again uh, these are just my experiences with these experiments I'm sure there's more um, and I would very much like to hear any disproving evidence out there if any of you have any go ahead and leave links in the comments um, but I hope you guys understand where this is going. Obviously, us humans are, we are mammals and very similar to these animals in numerous ways. And um, I'm sure you've heard the term limiting belief. Beliefs that uh, are not true that limit your potential. And I first heard of this term in the dating realm and it applies to various outlets of dating uh, such as just the belief that um, for instance you, you can't uh, attract this type of girl or any type of girl because you're short and there's hundreds of these beliefs and plenty of people out there who have convinced themselves um, of this issue and for a variety of reasons perhaps they uh, they have accepted their own helplessness and don't want anyone else to uh, even try out of jealousy they will tear down others uh, and enforce that belief on them and this obviously goes beyond dating to various facets of life such as business just think about the man who um, based on culture think about the woman or the uh, minority ethnic group who based on culture or traditionalism um, or flawed beliefs spurred by history culture and just how the way things have been before are told and just ingrained in their mind that females are not can never be as good as males or if you're homosexual you would never be as good as a straight person these sort of beliefs come up and lo and behold what happens ultimately uh, they grow up through their childhood believing these sort of things and ending up uh, constraining themselves, limiting themselves from even uh, 
reaching their potential because they believe that there's no use trying or maybe they, they'll try but they won't wholeheartedly try or do everything they can because of these beliefs and had they done so they might have uh, achieved success and often times you realize that um, success does not come after the first attempt or the thousandth of attempt sometimes you have to go through 10,000 failures to achieve that business breakthrough or that invention and so forth and so imagine someone who is limited by uh, inequality in, in terms of gender, sexuality, race, uh, ethnicity, um, differences in class, all these things to the point where they, they believe that they're not, they shouldn't try as hard. And I'm sure everyone, including me, even as I speak, um, myself included, are, you know, ingrained in these beliefs in our head. And I do think that there's plenty of people out there in society, uh, on the internet, who for whatever reason, there's a variety of reasons out there, uh, try and force their beliefs onto others that ultimately limit them. Um, and it's, I think it's outrageous and I think it should be stopped. Um, and I think the peop people should uh, at least... Um, understand that you shouldn't just listen to these people obviously it, it, in my opinion it does no good to anyone for these people to you know argue so hard to instill limiting beliefs in others what good does it benefit either party um, it may benefit the party who's already stuck in those limiting beliefs because uh, he they're in that mentality of if I can't get anywhere I'm not gonna let anyone else get anywhere but think about the um, the other individual um, by doing so, what if there's that chance that he, it could actually be a limiting belief and not actual fact? Then if you didn't argue so hard and convince this person, then perhaps he wouldn't uh, think, believe these limiting beliefs and he'd actually try for something else. Um, I think in terms of dating and other realms, uh, business, for instance, um, or just... Uh, a lot of things, sports, um, you will see a lot of limiting beliefs already broken through. But people choose to ignore these. Think about the four-minute mile. No one no one ever thought it could be done, and it was done. And um, there's, there's other things like um, uh, in terms of dating, short people, ugly people, poor people, all achieving success with women and I'm not here to argue and um, you know I, I do think that uh, a lot of these things are limiting and I do think a lot of people out there have constrained themselves from even trying because of these beliefs when in reality they're not true and um, it's it may be a half truth there may be some biological truth to it but um, you know, people end up generalizing and saying all women don't like short people or overly tall people or uh, there's no way a Asian guy can ever be with a black girl, whatever it is. So obviously in dating, um, it's been disproven. And then there's obviously uh, uh, something like uh, fem feminism, you know, equality with gender or um, ethnicity. Who would have ever thought a colored man would ever become the president of the United States? That was something that was blasphemous um, not so long ago to even think that was possible. And yet now we have Barack Obama. Um, and then there's, you know, plenty of women nowadays achieving high levels of entrepreneurial success or just success in terms of how much money they make or the businesses that they they contribute to uh, and the, the high positions that they've um, uh, been able to achieve. Uh, obviously not saying that money is the only measure of success. It's obviously not in my opinion at all. Um, but I definitely do think that um, uh, you can definitely limit yourself. Um, and that's all I really want to say in a nutshell. Don't, don't become the, uh, the dog in the cage. Um, and 
who knows if we are wired similarly to those animals if so uh, then we may look towards our childhood perhaps um, our first 10 years of existence uh, we were subject to a state of helplessness in a s environment where from then on out we believed hey this is the way it is there's no way ever I can uh, attract that girl or um, achieve a specific goal because in those first 10 to 20 years of my life it was proven wrong um, and I do think that the people who uh, take my advice and listen to this video um, will be better off than those who don't and they will probably break free from some um, probably not all of the limiting beliefs in our subconscious mind that are holding us back I'm sure I have plenty myself regarding uh, plenty enough in the dating field alone and just knowing them is not enough um, going out and actually trying it, it can be daunting and hard and oftentimes you will fail to do so and then when you do so you know uh, there's a it's a game of probability as well um, it's not going to work out 100% of the time sometimes you still fail and people end up screwing themselves over by saying hey uh, well I, I tried it out and I failed well, that means it, it's not a limiting belief it's it's true and um, again there's a lot of other things you have to consider sample size if it's a one trial sample size that's not a good enough sampling of the uh, probability um, perhaps you'll fail the first 10 times hundred times um, but eventually you know you may break free and then whatever it is uh, whether it's love uh, whether it's finding that girl that you don't think you can get boom um, you'll get there and obviously there will be haters throughout life wherever you go and uh, they like to lurk in areas for whatever reason where they hate um, and ultimately, you know, um, I, I think it's a waste of time and I think uh, everyone is better off um, finding places where they can learn and get better rather than places where they, they're just there to bring down others. Uh, so that's all I really want to say and I hope you guys got something out of this video. So always like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.